Last year we had uh, effort is everything was kind of our little slogan and I felt we kind of fell a little short. Like uh, we just didn't quite get everyone connected with that. So uh, this year I challenged our seniors and our leaders, our captains, and I said, hey, let's get a total commitment to 100% effort. And, you know, let's keep our, you know, our effort is everything, but let's add a little to that. And this year we want everyone gets better. To this year, that's, that's, our, that's our primary goal. One of the key returners is our senior captain, Logan Lewis. Uh, he was outstanding field performer last year. Uh, I believe he can pick right up where he left off and we'd love to see him get back to nationals again. And uh, you know, what can you say? I mean, he, he practically won the th through the throwing events last year. This year, I know he'd like to win all three of them. So we'll see. You know, the goal though is for him to continue to get better. So if he can get better in every one of his events, then that's a win. That's the way we're looking at that. Uh, obviously, A.J. Bates, he's a sophomore this year. He won the hurdles as a freshman for us outdoor. Uh, he was second indoor, I believe. Uh, it's highly possible that he could go and win the indoor and the outdoor again and be a critical person for us in the relays. Um, along with him, Tanner uh, did a great job last year in the javelin. I think he can make nationals this year in javelin. He should be, if not the favorite to win the javelin in conference, he's one of those two or three guys that should be favored to win the conference in the javelin. Um, along with him, we have Jabari Benjamin, who's a senior who jumped very well. Uh, never did track in high school and continues to get better. Uh, Ramon Williams uh, is there with uh, Logan in the throws and should score for us. Uh, our captains, uh, Spencer Lyman and Adam Fishbein bring a lot to the table. So we've got a lot of real positives. We, we're looking forward to seeing how they do as a men's team. Uh, it's kind of a similar scenario to the men. We didn't lose many and Alyssa Ward is back as a senior and she was the female outstanding field performer of the Centennial Conference. Um, and she did win all three jumps. So the goal is to try to get that bullseye off your back, to not let any of that pressure bother you and just do what you do best, which is she jumps well. She just needs to focus on that. She came a little short at qualifying for the national championships last year. I know she would really love to go and I think she could go in two events. So she's, she's, she's really key to how we do in the field events. Um, she has a little bit of help this year too, which is kind of exciting. Um, with our other ladies, I mean, Ola Kiska is back with the hurdles and she's, she's uh, new to hurdles. So she keeps getting better and she's a senior captain and I think she's just taken off on that leadership role and I think she's just gonna keep getting better. Uh, one, one of the other young ladies that's back, Caitlin Muccio, uh, may have a shot at winning the 400 her, I mean the 400 open. And uh, th you know, those ladies are, are, are just really working hard. Uh, our freshman, who's now a sophomore, Rachel Wiley, who went to nationals last year as a freshman, did fantastic at nationals, won the conference hurdles. We think she can win two events in conference. We think that she can go back to nationals. And I know for her, she wants to get on the podium. So it's very doable for her as a, a sophomore. Um, and then our, our other captain, Abby G. Uh, Abby Greilinger is a, is a senior and runs steeple for us and does a great job in leadership. And we have some freshman distance runners that will probably help us more than they were in cross country because they're stronger in that middle distance area. I'm expecting the freshman team uh, to buy into the system and to improve, which is really difficult. When it comes to our team goal for this year, everyone gets better. It is really challenging for freshmen to come in and sometimes get better from where they were 
in high school. It usually takes a year to acclimate, get used to the schedule. But with this group of freshmen we have on the men's side and the women's side, and some of the technical deficiencies they had in some of their events, we really believe we can get every one of them to improve over their high school performance. And if we can do that, then, then the rest will take care of itself because they're going to be some key people and some relays for us. You know, when we talk about key matchups, I think probably the team is most excited about this indoor schedule because we are having three home meets. That's the most we've ever done. Uh, they're also anticipating next year's hosting of the conference meet, not this coming indoor conference championship, but the next one. So we're going to have a lot of you know, anticipation and how that's going. The indoor surface has been fantastic for us. We're hosting the largest indoor college track meet in school history Saturday. Uh, we have 20 colleges coming. I think if you were looking at from the individual athletes on the team, their excitement for actually being able to have a home meet when you think that our seniors and our juniors their first two years, we didn't even have a meet. And now we're having these big invitationals. So they're really excited about that, the opportunity to perform in front of their friends and family and stuff like that. Uh, probably Cornell is always a highlight for us, going up to Cornell and rubbing shoulders with the Ivy League and really going out and competing against those guys and, and you know our top kids are typically battling it out with their kids. And it's just, it's a, that's, a, that's a good matchup for us. Obviously the indoor conference meet, and then the outdoor little three meet, and then the outdoor conference meet. It's exciting for us to see that with our men's and women's teams, our student athletes, we are bringing three countries in 18 states together. We have kids from Maine to Florida, Washington State to California, Arizona, New Mexico, the Midwest. You know, we are taking a group of student athletes from all over the country and the world in some parts and gelling them together. And they already the camaraderie, the discipline and the hard work has been inspiring for us as a staff.